Good afternoon. We'd like to welcome everyone to this afternoon's study session for the Mesa City Council. Uh, Mayor, uh, Mayor Glover. Chris Glover, Councilmember Glover. Uh, I'm, I think he's just running a little bit late. Will be with us. Uh, we'll begin today's meeting with a review of uh, tonight's uh, council meeting agenda. Page two, items three through five A. I guess I should have started with one through five A. Sorry about that. Items five B through five D. Items 5E and 5F. Items 5G through 7A. Items 7B through 10A. Oh, did you want to remove that? Yep. Um, Councilmember Higgins. Uh, Mayor, we need to remove 10A from the consent agenda. It wasn't a unanimous move into full council. Okay. Item 10A is off the consent agenda. Okay. All right. Item number two, here reports on means conferences attended. Councilman Kavanaugh. Thank you, I want to uh, report on attending the Unity Walk on Saturday. This is, uh, was helped, uh, sponsored in part by our diversity office and we had many residents of Mesa uh, doing a Unity Walk uh, starting at Tempe Beach Park with residents of Tempe, Scottsdale, um, Chandler, Phoenix, and it was a, a great turnout by, by residents all in uh, in uh, t-shirts representing their community and I was honored to be part of that. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Mayor, uh, I think just about all of us were at a posted meeting uh, to uh, extend our appreciation for the wonderful uh, volunteer leaders that we have uh, throughout the city. Uh, the event was held at the Mesa Arts Center. It was a, a, a small reception and a, and a very small token of this council and staff's appreciation for everything our volunteer coordinators do. They, they uh, truly are, are, are the folks that make things work, the connection between ourselves and, and the community. And they, uh, there's no way that we could have possibly have thanked them enough. Thank you. Anything else? Councilor Higgins. Saturday evening. Saturday evening. Go ahead. Well, uh, thank you, Mayor, uh, Councilmember Finter, Richens, Higgins, and I attended, uh, along with you, the uh, gala evening of musical magic at the Mesa Arts Center to benefit the Mesa Arts Center Foundation. And we wanted to uh, congratulate you on your performances uh, and uh, being a trooper with the voice that you had. And uh, it. Uh, <coughs> wait, 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 wait. The songs were great. <laughs> you, I think. You, I think I sang with as bad a voice as I have. No, you you sounded better than we. You than sounded we better than you thought I would. Have. Yes, and you you danced I quite well. I yes. have still do. So thank you. You, you danced quite well with the Rock Hats. <laughs> and, uh, but all the performances uh, were. It's for the it was, kids. Remember, it was for the kids. And, for the kids. Uh, the uh, it was certainly an interesting range of performances, <laughs> and. Uh, and it was a fun evening, I think, for all. Uh, and, and we need to talk about the highlight of the evening, which happened before uh, the thing started, uh, as we were all gathered <laughs> in black tie on the plaza of the Mace Arts Center, and all of a sudden, someone started yelling, Mayor, Mayor, look, look! Turned around, and there is a gentleman, sans clothing, just strolling right down through the middle of the, uh, of the thing, just absolutely mm -hmm. through the shadow walk. And I said, I, I didn't think the vice mayor was going to be here tonight. And uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Point of order. <laughs> performance art. Uh, performance, yes. Uh, yes, he was pretty sculpted. Uh, but it was just, uh, it was not at People City Street. No, it was not a street because he just literally it just like, sauntered. sauntered. It, was a saunter. it was a saunter. Sauntered down the walk right through all the, what well, was funny was 
the band, was playing. the band was playing and all these people in black tie and here's this guy walking just like not a care in the world just walking right on through so that was the most exciting thing yes no but thanks to everybody we had a great turnout and uh, a lot of fun and a lot of talent in this community and then there's unfortunately it wasn't on display. I was gonna say then there's me <laughs> No, we have some great people in this community that uh, came out to support uh, a, a great cause and uh, uh, show off not only the, the beautiful arts center but also the talents in the community. And, and once again, it's uh, it's it's great to be able to expose our kids. Uh, <laughs> uh, there were no kids there. To the arts. Yeah. <laughs> the gap of the okay. year. <laughs> I, I opened the door. I, I, I guess I can't slam it shut. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy McDonald, my chance. Stop. Stop while you're behind. No, but it's, uh, it's a great cause because the Mesa Arts Foundation and the Arts Center does a great job of bringing children in. Uh, and through arts classes and performances and interaction, interactive activities to really, uh, to really connecting them with the arts. And uh, it's important. Um, you know, it's an important part of our community. Uh, and, and Mesa's always thought that that was important, so we appreciate that. We raised a lot of money. I think most money we've ever raised. So thanks to all those who came and bid on auction items and, and participated. Okay. All right. Mr. Brady. Thank you, Mayor. Um, also coming up um, this week, we have a Building Stronger Neighborhoods uh, meeting, District 5, on the 7th, Thursday the 7th at 6.30 p.m. at Mendoza Elementary School. So invite the neighborhood out for that um, Building Stronger Neighborhoods event. Also, the Vice Mayor will be hosting a free pancake breakfast uh, for District 6 at Fire Station 219. Um, this Saturday from Feb uh, February 9th from 8 to 10, that would be Signal Butte and Elliott, yeah, uh, yeah. correct? Correct. The brand new one. The new one, the yeah, brand new one at Signal Butte and Elliott. Also, um, while you're eating your breakfast, uh, you can be giving blood. The Red Cross will be on site for a blood drive from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we invite everybody to come out, uh, make your uh, donation uh, then also. That's a whole different room. Oh, is it a different room? It's, oh, yeah. Oh. I am not serving pancakes where they're drawing blood. I don't know about the rest of you that's not happening. I thought that's how you keep from passing out. So, um, and they will be, they'll also be collecting names if you can't give blood that day. Uh, if you want to sign up, they, they will uh, have a sign up. Oh, okay. So you okay. can go in later. Okay, very good. Um, and Mayor Council, at uh, this time, we do not have any items for a uh, study session for the 7th. So we'll, right now, we'll be... Uh, what? Postponing canceling that study session. So, uh, would we like to take a vote to demand that we get together at 7:30? If in the morning, you would like, we can, I'm sure we could come up with something. <laughs> no, we're fine. Okay. Uh, the, the Community and Cultural Development Committee has tentatively planned to meet uh, Wednesday the 6th. Oh, okay. Wednesday morning. It's 7:30, right here. Okay. To finalize uh, the CDBG. Oh, committee. right. Okay. So, there will be a committee meeting this week. Wednesday, Wednesday the 6th. Wednesday morning. And no. Study session. No study pages. session on the seventh. Thank you. Wow. Sorry. Right, thank you. Welcome. Good I didn't realize night. it was such an impact. <laughs> Good news. Okay. If there's nothing else, we have a motion to adjourn from from the vice mayor, second council mayor Higgins. All in favor, say aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>